Hi, in this video we'll talk about HDL and reverse cholesterol transport mediated by HDL. HDL stands for high density lipoprotein. That means HDL has more of a protein part than the lipid part. Now let me introduce you about HDL. So HDL has apolipoprotein A1, apolipoprotein C that are the major component of HDL and HDL can be secreted from both intestine and the liver. 40% of the HDL is actually protein, 30% is phospholipid and 25% is cholesterol. Now just to compare HDL with other lipoprotein components, HDL is known as good cholesterol. So in this video we'll try to understand why HDL is good, what's the benefit of HDL. Let us compare all these uh, lipoprotein molecules. There is chylomicron, VLDL, IDL, LDL and HDL. You can see the HDL is smaller in size. In other words, they have very high density of protein and very less amount of fat part. The major apolipoproteins that make HDL unique is apolipoprotein A1 which is not present in many other uh, apolipo uh, uh, other particles. Now coming to the composition, HDL is majorly consists of protein whereas LDL and other particles are either more triglyceride or cholesterol rich and HDL can be secreted both from liver and intestine. So we know that LDL which is also known as bad cholesterol deposits cholesterol excess cholesterol in the arteries and this increases the risk of coronary artery diseases and they are hence atherogenic. Now in case of HDL, they kind of scavenge these excess cholesterol from these arterial space and they return it to liver. So they are kind of anti-atherogenic and better for our health. Now HDL has several other properties which make it unique. HDL is a resolver for apolipoprotein and many of these apolipoproteins are supplied to other lipoprotein particles. Now HDL can uptake unesterified cholesterol, HDL also helps in esterification of cholesterol, HDL takes part in reverse cholesterol transport that means it takes, uh, takes away excess of cholesterol which is deposited in the artery space and return it to the liver for recycling. Now LDL we know already deposited excess of cholesterol in the artery walls and HDL moves in the circulation, collect those excess of cholesterol and return it to the liver and this selective process is known as the reverse cholesterol transport where peripheral cholesterol is now returned to the liver for recycling purposes and the cholesterol is now converted to cholic acid which would ultimately be utilized to form bile acids right now from ex from extrahepatic tissue from external tissue space Cholesterol is collected with the help of several transporters such as ABCA1 which is present in almost all peripheral tissues. Now this ABCA1 mediates cholesterol export and cholesterol is converted to cholesterol ester with the help of the enzyme LCAT or lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. Then this HDL particle can be actually returned to the liver and in the liver there is SR1B receptor which is a scavenger receptor that scavenge HDL particle and thereby uptakes all the cholesterol inside it and release the HDL particle for next round of scavenging. That's what happens in the liver. So th this is how HDL deposits excess cholesterol in the liver. Now here is the foam cell which is a rich source of cholesterol and this deposits actually uh, cholesterol in the artery space. Now cholesterol is uptaken by the nascent HDL particle with the help of ABCA1 and ABCG1 receptor. So all of these cholesterol is actually uptaken by the nascent HDL. But nascent HDL is eating more and more cholesterol so it would become fat, it would become bigger and forming HDL3 particles. Eventually HDL3 particle would have more of such cholesterol and triglyceride and they would become HDL2 particle. Finally, this HDL2 particle would be returned to the liver and would be recycled again back to the nascent, nascent HDL. Now, 
HDL can interact with VLDL particle or IDL particle and HDL give them protein whereas VLDL and IDL particle give them triglycerides. Ultimately, after taking triglycerides from VLDL and IDL, these particles can eventually become LDL. Now, LDL can deposit cholesterol in the tissues but the other fate of LDL that it can be uptaken by the liver. Inside the liver, there are liver hepatocyte cells which have LDL receptors. These LDL receptors leads to receptor mediated endocytosis and uptake of uh, cholesterol. So in other way, HDL kind of indirectly favors the cholesterol uptake. So there are two pathways by HDL mediates these cholesterol uptake. One via these LDL particles or otherwise directly binding to the scavenger receptor present in the liver hepatocytes. So in this video, we overall looked at that HDL works like a garbage picking truck. So wherever there is a garbage, it picks it up and put it in the dump yard. Here, the dump yard is analogous to the liver, whereas the garbage which is sitting around uh, near the road is actually the cholesterol present in the arterial plugs, which is picked up by the HDL particle. And this excess cholesterol is deposited into the liver and thereby efficient recycling is happening, which prevents our body from the risk of atherogenesis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.